Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of months, I've posted two how-to videos. One being how to schedule automatic shutdown on Windows, and the second, how to schedule custom notifications using Windows Task Scheduler. Both videos will be linked if you would be interested. Now, just to follow up in that so-called series, and to show you how you can actually schedule an automatic restart on Windows. And this applies to both Windows 10 and Windows 11. It's a very similar process. Now, when you shut down your PC, it doesn't actually close everything running in the background. Especially if you have turn on fast startup, which is the recommended and the default setting on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So this means you can run into complications because a lot of data is processed in the memory and that can cause sluggishness and slowdowns over time just to mention one example so restarting your pc basically what it does is it flushes the memory flushes the cache and and just restarts your pc on a new page so to speak and also if you want to keep up to date with windows updates as an example restarting your pc on a regular basis may may also apply available updates so if you don't normally reboot your PC, the whole purpose of this video is to show you how you can actually automate the process on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now for this, we're going to use the legacy task scheduler as mentioned, which is bundled by default in Windows 10 and 11. And one of the things it can do is it allows you to create a task that turns off and back on your machine at a specified time and date that you have set. So on both OS's, the easiest way to get to Task Scheduler would be just to do a search for Task and that will bring up Task Scheduler. Click on the relevant entry. And to the top right of Task Scheduler, you're gonna see an entry called Create Basic Task. Click on that. And in the name, you can call this task anything. I'm just gonna, for the purpose of this video, enter Auto restart and you can also enter a description if you so wish that's optional click on next now when do you want the task to start now you've got daily weekly monthly one time and a couple of other options now for this video i'm just going to go weekly but you can schedule this task in any of these different options one time monthly weekly daily then once again we click on next and here you can select the day and the time you want Task Scheduler to reboot your computer. And something else you can do is you can choose the actual day you want that to happen. I'm going to choose Sunday and let's leave it starting today just as an example. And I'm just going to change that time to 2300. On that date and that day then once you've done that you click next you leave it at the default start a program click next and then yeah in the program script you need to enter shutdown and then yeah add arguments which is optional what you need to do is you need to enter the following, which I'll leave in the description for you to copy and paste if you so wish, just for easy access and reference. Just enter that into the arguments. Now, just getting back to this command, if you don't know what these different parameters are, basically the R is the parameter that restarts your PC. F force closes any running apps and the T0 ensures there's no delay in rebooting your PC. So that's basically what that's all about. And then once you've done that, you click on next. And then on this final menu, you can just double check um, all your different settings. And then you would click on finish to save your task. And we can see now If we head into our task scheduler, 
in the main window, you'll see at the top here, there's the task that's saved. Auto restart, we've just entered that and we've just created that. And then from now on, Task Scheduler will automatically reboot your PC on that specified day and time. So that's how you can auto restart on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And then if you want to put everything back to how it was before applying and creating this task, all you do is you can head back to the right hand menu. You can disable the task, which will obviously disable it if you don't want to delete it completely. But if you've finished with it and you want to get rid of it, you can just click on delete and click on yes, the prompt. And you can see it's deleted that task, putting everything back to how it was previously. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.